this is the setup and we have three types of load that is short load that, that is on load and the one which is fixed over there is match load this is a tunable probe and that is connected to the measuring meter before turning on the power supply you have to make sure that beam and lifter voltage knobs at uh, into the zero position and once you turn on you have to push this knob to the beam voltage and check what is the voltage there you have to make this voltage to 280 volts once it is done you have to push this to rippler voltage and you have to check the current that is being uh, that we are getting here you have to adjust the rippler voltage in order to get the maximum current there so if you have the 340 350 is the maximum current that i am getting and once after that it is dropping again so you have to keep it in the maximum current so here we are getting the maximum current once you get the maximum current here you have to uh, vary the uh, distance of the solid wave right here we have two scales uh, this is a fixed scale and this is a sliding scale so the first point first zero point of the scale uh, whatever it is matching to the reading on the fixed scale is the uh, first reading before the decimal that is if you see here uh, it is 8 that is matching with the 0 so it is 8 first digit and after that for suppose uh, if you observe these two scales whichever division of the uh, sliding scale is coinciding with the fixed scale that is the uh, decimal after the second digit that is if you see here I am feeling that uh, fourth, fourth uh, line is coinciding so my distance is 8.04 in the same way we have to vary this slightly uh, until you get a maxima and a minima for suppose if you see here uh, once I am moving it, I got something like 420, uh, 420, uh, 420 milliamps of current and if I am further moving it, it is getting reduced, find a minima, that is a point where it, uh, it starts increasing after decreasing. So, if you uh, move it like that, if you see after 346, instead of decreasing, it is starting increasing. So you have to stop at 346 and note down the distance. You call it as D1. Once you are calling it as D1 and, and you have to move it, move it and also check the reading, you will get a maxima again. Again you will get a minimum. You have to find for that minimum. So currently it is decreasing and it, uh, it, it has suddenly rise, rise up. So after 419 it started rising. So you have to stop at 419 and note down the distance again this we call it as D2 so you have to maintain a table like this type of load minimum current maximum current D1 D2 lambda G and S so uh, the minimum current you have to note down what is the minimum current that you got uh, in the overall measurement maximum current is the maximum current that you got in the overall measurement D1 D2 as I have mentioned you have to note down them and you have to calculate lambda G as per the formula 2 into D1 minus D2 while doing this experiment you have to make sure that lambda G value must be in the range of 4 to 5 and uh, you have to repeat the same process for three types of loads short matched and horn uh, you have to remember that for short type of load the minimum current will be always zero this this is one of the point to be remembered and the second point is when you are connecting the meter you have to keep it in the micro amperes range not in the milliamperes you have to keep it in the micro amperes range